guys, so before the video starts, I just wanted to say that I'll be taking the upload schedule away. I'll still try to upload at kind of the same times as before, definitely at least one video a week, but I can't promise a video every Monday and Friday. I realized that when I had designated days to upload, I would sometimes rush my videos or my builds and the quality of my content wouldn't be as good as I would have wanted it to be. This way I'll be able to spend much more time on my builds and be able to upload them once I'm completely satisfied with them. Thanks so much guys. Anyways, today I'm beginning a small series of videos in which I build Sherlock Holmes' office. I don't know why, but I've been kind of addicted to reading Sherlock Holmes lately, so I decided to build his office as a modular building. Now, of course, with Sherlock Holmes around, the city doesn't really need another detective's office, so I decided to take it out of the detective's office modular building. I do plan to fill in this space with another area, possibly a police station, so stay tuned for that. I have accumulated some equipment from the detective's office and from tutorials online to fill up the inside of 221B Baker Street. So far I've made a few chairs, but I plan on making lots of other furniture. It's pretty hard to build furniture into the style that I want. I've also built custom minifigures of Holmes and Watson. Let's get into the building. The front of the building has lots of detail that I took from pictures online, especially the bottom floor. The top floor consists mainly of the orange-brown modifier brick pieces from the detective's office. The roof also offers some of its own detail. The back of the building is fairly simple, but I still managed to put in some more details. The sides of the walls also have some layers of different colors to brighten up the inside. Anyways, that is as much as I'll reveal for now. Keep in mind that many things may, and probably will, change within and around the building. For the next update, I hope that I'll have some of the interior done, which will probably take me the longest, to be honest. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for the things that you would want to see in the finished building. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.